Hi everybody, this is Lisa. It's time for another Verbling class. It's 12 p.m. Pacific time. I'm in Washington State and so that's my time. Obviously it's going to be a different time for everybody. Hi Mido. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What about good. you? Good. <laughs> what, what program are you using to um, make these little graphics that you have? Uh, Photoshop. Just for actually. okay. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, use Photoshop a lot? Yeah. Okay. What do you use it for? Uh, for my work, because I I um, design websites and programs, so we use some graphical interfaces. Uh -huh. So we have to um, design a nice graphical user interface for people yeah. to use in their in their programs. So we use um, Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop okay. and After Effects and some other some other stuff. Uh huh. Do yeah. you do the um, graphic design stuff yourself, or do you, you have other people doing it, or do you do the programming at all, or do it all? <laughs> well, sometimes when I'm free, I do the 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 designing and and the programming too. Hmm. But we are a team, so. Yeah. Two guys are designing and two guys are, are programming, writing the codes, you know. Right. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, everybody, I'm just talking with uh, Mido here. Hi, Alan. So, Alan and, and Mido, you guys have something in common. You're both uh, web designers. Ooh. <laughs> You're in England and he's in Egypt. Okay. Um, what what you, I'm going to talk a little bit with you guys first because I'm waiting for the other people who haven't uh, joined in, which they join in later. But um, for you guys that are here, we're going to be talking about uh, we're going to be reading actually this article that I just got from the New York Times uh, this morning. It's about uh, social cause gaming and a specific game that is going to um, be launched on March 4th on Facebook that they're going to start playing to see if it can bring um, some awareness about uh, women's issues around the world so it's kind of a new idea that uh, they've been making these games that are uh, the purpose of them is to bring awareness to things that are happening different social causes so that's kinda of what this article is about and we're going to get started reading it here looks like we have some people here let's see if we're full we might be able to have one other person join us so if you see the green um, join class button now would be a good time to click on it because it's the best if you can get here on time so we can all get started together and then um, read the whole article together okay so I just want to say hi to, hi to everybody some people are returning like Alan hi Alan hi, hi. how are you Good, thank you. Hi, Ahmad. Hi, Lisa. Thank you. Hi, Ines. Are you there? Hi. 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 And Ismail's here. Hi, Ismail. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Hello, How are everybody. You? And uh, Laura, are you there? Yes. Hello, Lisa. Hello, everybody. Hi. And Maria Jose is here. Yeah. Um, Hello, Lisa. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Okay, good. <laughs> is it uh, cold or is it hot? No, <laughs> a sunny, beautiful day. Yeah, it looks sunny. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, you always have good weather compared to where I am. So. <laughs> okay, and Mido's here. Hi. Hi. And, and Victor. Okay. Hey, everybody. Hi. Okay, so let's get started. I, if you want to join, I think there's looks like there's a few people watching, at least ten people watching. So if the join class button is available, you want to uh, click on it now because we're going to start our reading. So it looks like everybody found the page that we're going to be reading. I'll put it one more time up here in the verb link chat. Um, so let me just uh, before we start reading, let me just review quickly how we do the reading class. Um, this is an article that I took from the New York Times uh, Magazine online. Uh, at least here in the United States you can read 
up to 10 um, articles I think a month for free otherwise you have to subscribe so I go there now and then and grab some things hi Esther hi I'm just getting started explaining how we're going to do this um, so this article I took from the technology section of the paper the online uh, version and um, it's about social cause gaming so does everybody understand what a social cause is before we get started how would you describe a social cause Alan do you understand that word yeah I think I understand it but it's quite hard to explain uh, a social what, well, could you give us an example of what would be a cost a social cause um, the people uh, the homeless people for example you can't hear Alan yeah yeah so an example of a social cause would be for example working for homeless people trying to help them out Imad do you know another uh, example of what a social cause is uh, sorry, I didn't hear Alan when he was speaking. Uh, he said uh, so that, um, for example, the homeless, helping homeless people. Oh, social cause is homeless people? No, that's an example of what a social cause is. So we're trying to think of examples just to make sure everybody understands what it means, uh, a social cause. Uh, sorry, I didn't mm -hmm. understand the meaning of More social for, uh, Social purposes. Yeah. Without money, maybe. Yeah. Oh, so or for, or something like that. Yeah. So it's working yes. for um, social change. So you say you have like an issue, such as homelessness. Uh, That's an issue. It's a social issue because um, it has to do with society and people. Okay. It's not a. It's not like a health issue, for example. So it's a social issue. It has to do with people. And um, so that would be an example. Another social cause uh, could be something like uh, like orphans, for example, or something like that. Yeah, like orphans. Yeah, if you're working with orphans in an orphanage, that's a social cause. Helping student, uh, helping children who don't have parents, perhaps. Also, for example, like uh, child abuse is a social cause. So anything that is a problem in the society, something that people we don't like, um, that's called uh, a cause that you want to fight for. You want to solve solve the problem. So it's any kind of uh, the cause part of that means uh, the issue that you want to solve. You want to make better. Okay. Does that is that clear? Yeah. It's very clear. Okay. Yeah. Maria Jose, you understand that? I want to make sure everybody understands because that's what this yeah. article is about. Okay, so everybody on the article, let's go to the article. So the way we're going to do this is I will read um, a paragraph or two first, and the paragraph that I'm reading I will highlight like this. You can see it in this screen there like that. And then I will uh, call on one of the students, and we'll just go in order down here. Um, to, to read also. So the reason why I'm reading first is so that you can hear me pronounce the words and then that way you can um, make sure that you're listening well and also so when you read you can pronounce the words correctly. If you have trouble pronouncing the words just let me know and I'll help you. Um, sometimes I don't interrupt you even if you didn't uh, pronounce it correctly I don't necessarily interrupt you I might tell you after you read uh, just to to make sure that you um, know how to say it uh, correctly a lot of times um, we will also sometimes I go through and I read the whole article first and then go over but this article I think I want to go a little bit at a time and just make sure people understand what's happening because it is a longer article I don't want to get through the whole article and not have anybody understand what it was about. <laughs> so we're going to take it a little bit at a time. Okay? So I'll read uh, this part first and then I'll ask Alan to read. He'll be the first one to read. So the title is A Game Aims to Draw Attention to Women's Issues. So the aim of the game, that means uh, the goal. So if you have an aim, that means your goal. So it to aim is the verb means to have a goal and uh, what you want to do so this is a game that wants to 
draw attention to women's issues. Okay, the author is Elizabeth Jensen, uh, and like I said, I took it from the New York Times. All right, so the first um, paragraph says, social cause gaming or the use of games to promote awareness of societal problems has been growing since pioneer online projects like Food Force, the United Nations World Food Program's 2005 game about confronting famine, and Darfur is Dying, MTV's 2006 offering in which players navigate the terrors of a Sudanese refugee camp. Okay, Alan, why don't you read that first paragraph for us? Thank okay. you. Social gaming or the use of game to promote awareness of societal, 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 societal problems uh -huh. has been growing since pioneering online projects like Food Force, the United Nations World Food Program's 2005 game about confronting famine, and Darfur is dying. MTV's 2006 offering in in which players navigate the terrors of the Sudanese refugee camp. Okay. All right. So let's see. So, so cause gaming or the use of games to promote. What does it mean to promote awareness? We have this. To right push there. to to mm -hmm. to advertise. Yeah. Mm hmm. Anybody can answer if you want. If you know what to promote means. To raise the awareness. Uh huh. So yeah. we could also say raise awareness. So they want to use games to bring um, information about these problems to people. So uh, Maria Jose, what's an example of one of the games that they're telling us about? What was it trying to bring awareness about? Um, a national world food programs games about confronting famine. Mm -hmm. So one on of the other what? Yeah, go ahead. And the other one was on MTV's games mm -hmm. that where, where people can can how do you say that? Can be part of a Sudanese refugee camp. Right. Yeah, so so the first thing is one for example, this game um, wanted to bring awareness about famine. Does everybody know what right, famine is? Famine. Famine is when uh, when you don't no have food. enough food. So, like in some countries in Africa, they have famines, maybe because of weather, because there hasn't been enough uh, rain or something. They don't have enough food. Yes, it's a food shortage. And then some of you may be familiar what was happening in uh, Sudan with the wars and stuff. So that's they wanted to bring awareness about that situation. So they made it a video game. So these are online uh, video games that people are playing, okay? And they're to bring awareness. All right, so subsequent games have raised awareness of subjects like HIV, sex trafficking, and political conflicts, among others. On March 4th, a new game on Facebook, inspired by the book Half the Sky, Turning Oppression into Opportunity for Women Worldwide, will be introduced with a focus on raising awareness of issues like female female genital mutilation and child prostitution. Okay, so Imad, would you read those two little paragraphs yeah. there? Yeah. Subsequent games have raised awareness of subjects like HIV, sex tra uh, trafficking, and political conflicts, among others. On March 4, a new game on Facebook Inspired by the book Half the Sky, uh, Half the Sky, turning mm -hmm. uh, opposition, oppression, uh, into oppression, oppression, oppression mm -hmm. into opportunity for women worldwide, will be introduced with a, fa uh, with, a fo with a focus on raising awareness of issues like female gen uh, genital genital mm -hmm. mutilation. Yep. And child prostitution. Uh, okay. Okay, so what are the, the two issues that this new game is going to uh, raise awareness for? What are the two issues? Anybody? Uh, 
about uh, prostitution in general for female child, genital child. mutilation and child prostitution. prostitution. Yeah. Yes. So we could say this game will raise awareness about female genital mutilation. So some of you might be familiar with that and child prostitution. Okay, so these are what we call uh, societal issues and they are causes for which uh, people fight. They fight against them, okay? And it's based on this book here. So this is a book that was written by a couple of uh, journalists, I believe. And so they're going to base this new Facebook game. It's called a social game because it's played on uh, social media. It's not played on the Xbox, for example. Okay? All right. Half the Sky, uh, the game, more than three years in the making, is one of the most ambitious efforts yet to entice a mass audience to social media games with the goal of social change. It is a concept, however, that even its supporters say is largely untested. Esther, would you like to read that paragraph? The Half the Sky Movement, the game more than three years in the making, is one of the most ambitious efforts yet to entice a mass audience to social media games with the goal of social change. It is a, it is a concept, however, that even its supporters say it is largely untested. Mm -hmm. So how long have they been working on this game? More than three years. Yes. And um, what does it mean to entice a mass audience? What do we, does everybody understand that? Yeah. What does it mean like to, to entice somebody? To attract. Mm -hmm. To encourage. Yes. Yeah, to entice somebody to do something is, oops, something is you're trying to, uh, trying to make it so that they want to do it. So attract or encourage, those are good words. So they're trying to, um, what does it mean that it's the most ambitious? What does the word ambitious mean? Everybody understand that? Like they're looking forward in a very extreme way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you could say it's a forward, forward. forward thinking. thinking. It's ambitious. Forward ambitious. Yeah, it means it's a hard, it's something hard to do. It's very ambitious. So, for example, like for if you use your, yourself as an example, maybe uh, writing a novel in English would be a very ambitious um, endeavor for somebody who is just learning English and practicing English. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it would be something that would be very difficult and um, is something that might work or it might not work. And so this is what it means here. With, it's a concept, so it's an idea, however, that even its supporters say is largely untested. So that just means they don't know if it's going to work because it has not been tested yet. So they're going to see, starting next month, if this is actually something people will, will want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. The game seeks to engage new audiences not reached by the 2009 book, written by the married team of Nicholas D. Kristof, a columnist for the New York Times, and Cheryl Wu Dunn, a former Times journalist. A spin-off four-hour documentary was broadcast on PBS in October with a four-hour sequel coming in fall 2014. Even more directly than possible with the book and television program, the game's producers hope to actively involve the public. Okay, Ines? Yes. Okay, read those. Yeah. <laughs> the game seeks to engage new audiences not rich by the 2009 books. Written by the Mar by the Maui team of Nicholas T. Christophe, <coughs> a columnist a columnist for the New York Times, and Cheryl Wundon. Yeah, Wundon. <laughs> Wundon. Yeah. A former Times journalist. It's mean of four hours documentary was broadcast on PBS. In October, with a four, with a four-hour sequel coming in fall 2014. 
Mm -hmm. Even more directly than possible with the book and television and television programs, the games producers hope to active to actively involve the public. Okay, good. Does anybody have any questions about those two paragraphs? Yes, I do. Okay. Um. Uh, is it right to say that um, was broadcast? Uh huh. I didn't understand it. How how is it was broadcast? Yeah, Should that's. Should it a, be was broadcasted? Was broadcast, or I think that's one of those verbs that you can uh, do both, broadcast or broadcasted. Sometimes in English, mm -hmm. there's uh, some uh, words like that that you can put the ed on the end or. You don't have to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. It was broadcast. Let's see. Let me just make it up. Yep. Yes. Broadcast or broadcasted. Either one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's a good uh, question. Lisa, I have a question. Yes. Uh, with a four-hour sequel. Mm -hmm. What is the sequel? Is it uh, sequel one the meaning of? It's a sequel. It's a series of, yeah. Yeah. So, for example, you have the first movie, and then the second movie that comes out is called the sequel. So it comes out after. It's the second uh, movie in a series. Oh, is there a question? I can, say, can I say the same thing for the third season and the first season, or mm, just for the second just one? Just for the second one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It. It's usually. It refers to the one that comes out right after the first one came out. So you have the first movie or documentary or TV show, and then you have the sequel, which is the next one. It's like what happens next in the story. So it's telling you like the next part of the story. Now, now we are doing the process. Okay, does somebody else have a, a question? Yes. Sir. Yes. I didn't understand uh, these two paragraphs. Okay, good. Let's go over it. So the game seeks to engage new audiences. So basically, in that first paragraph, all they're saying is that there was a book that was written by these two people, Nicholas and Cheryl, and they're married. They wrote a book, and so that book had a certain audience. So the audience would be the readers of that book is what that audience refers to but now they want new people to know about this issue and so they're trying to get new people to know about this issue by the game so they want to use the game to um, let more people and new people who didn't know about it before know about this issue okay so that's what that means to engage new audiences and then the second paragraph that uh, Ines read, a spin-off four-hour documentary was broadcast on PBS. PBS stands for, in the United States, Public uh, Broadcasting System. That's a television channel which is funded by uh, donations by people. It's not, um, it's not a commercial one. So that well, basically that, says they made a movie. They made a they made a documentary that was four hours long, and then in next year, they're going to have another four-hour movie come out about it. And then, um, but they're saying even more directly than possible with the book and television program, the game's producers hope to actively involve the public. So a game, I mean a book, you just read it, and a movie or a TV show, you watch it but you're not very actively involved so the game is going to make you involved in the situation so you're going to have a character and you're gonna follow that character and you're gonna actually kind of imagine and pretend that you're in this situation and by that way you're going to understand the situation better rather than just hearing about it or watching it on TV okay does that make sense now Lisa, uh, yeah. what, what is the aim? Uh, the aim? To, uh, yes, of this game. What is the aim of this game? Uh, 
We want people uh, from people to read the book or to play game. And they want people to understand what? the issue. They want people to understand uh, the issues of uh, uh, childhood prostitution and genital mutilation. That's what it's about. Okay. Uh, can good. I have a question, please? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Spin-off means. Which one? Spin-off. Oh, a spin-off. Oh, spin yeah. So a spin-off. That is a word that you use when, um, for example, it's just like it says that you write a book and then they do a spin-off. So the spin-off is um, something related to the book. So it's usually a movie or a TV show that is based on a book. And that's what you call that TV show, show or a movie. You call it a spin-off. It's a spin-off spin of the book. Yeah. Okay? Good. Okay, so okay. let's keep reading and then it'll be more um, understandable, I think. So the central character, so that means the main character, an Indian woman named Radhika faces various challenges with the assistance of players who can help out with donations of virtual goods, for example. The players can then make equivalent real-world donations to seven nonprofit organizations woven into the game. Ten dollars, for example, will buy a goat for Heifer International. Twenty dollars will help support United Nations Foundation immunization efforts. Okay, Ismail, you want to read those two? Yes. Isa. Okay. Go ahead. The central character, an Indian woman named Radhika, faces various challenges with the assistance of players who can help out with donation of virtual goods. For example, the players can then make equivalent real-world donation to seven non-profit profit organizations woven into the game. Ten dollars, for example, will help buy a god for Hafer International. Twenty dollars will help support United Nations Foundation immunization efforts. Okay. So, did you understand that, Ismail? Uh, yes. No, Ismail. Okay, here we go. So, the central character is an Indian woman, so she's the main person in the game that you're going to be her in the, when you play this game. And what you're going to do is you're going to go through challenges. But these challenges aren't the same kind of challenges that you usually have in a regular video game where maybe you're trying to shoot up people or you're trying to go navigate around the world or a different world. These, um, you're going to be really like you're living her life. And so um, what you can do is you can help her in there by making donations. So donations are like giving things to her, uh, to her to help her out. And what they're saying is that if you're a, um, if you are a, um, a player playing this game and you want to, then you're going to be able to also give real-world donations to different profit, uh, non-profit organizations that are in part of the game. So you're going to be playing the game for free, and you're just going to be playing the game. But if you want to, you could actually give real money if you find out about these... Um, organizations like Heifer International and you can give ten dollars and inside the game so I don't know if some people are familiar with games some games you can play for free but you can also spend money and um, uh, buy things in the game in this case you're not gonna buy things in the game you're actually going to give money to help different issues okay Is that a question? yes go ahead who has a question uh, the immunization okay. efforts, is it about yeah. uh, how to, for example, uh, give uh, uh, vac vaccines for poor people or kind of that, or? Yeah. Yes. Is, is, it, is it right? Uh-huh. Yeah. So, yes, immunization efforts for, for poor people. So, if you're playing the game and then you want to support... Um, some of the organizations, then you can actually, inside of the game, donate money for various things. One of them is immunization, and that's uh, 
vaccinations uh, around the world. Okay. Yeah. Liza. Yes. Are uh, people um, making donation via playing game or they are learning uh, something from the game and they are going to donate the uh, non-governmental organization in real I, world? Yeah, I think both. I think, um, like for example, when you're playing a game right now on the computer, there's sometimes you can buy things in the game. It's called an in-game purchase. And oftentimes when you're doing that, it's for the game. It's to get more gold or to stuff that helps you do better in the game. But for this game, you aren't going to buy um, uh, gold, for example, but you're going to spend money and you're going to give uh, donations to real organizations. So it's really going to go to the organization. It's not going to just go to the game maker. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Thank so you. let's let's keep moving on here. To further engage players, those who reach pre-designated levels unlock donations from Johnson and Johnson and Pearson, which have each contributed two hundred fifty thousand dollars to buy real-world operations from the Fistula Foundation and books for Room to Read, respectively. If the Half the Sky game takes off and the money is claimed quickly, the producers hope other sponsors will step in, said Michelle Bird, co-president of Games for Change, a nonprofit that promotes the creation of so-called social impact games and is the game's executive producer along with Show of Force Productions. Okay, Mido. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, to further engage players, those who reach pre-designated levels unlock donations from Johnson and Johnson and Pearson, which have each contributed two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to buy real-world operations mm -hmm. from the Fistula Foundation and books and books from for room to read, respectively. If the half the sky game takes off and the money is claimed quickly, the producers hope other sponsors will step in, said Michelle Bird, co-president co -president of Games for Change, a non-profit non that promotes the creation of so-called social impact games and is the game's ex ex executive producer along with Show of Force Productions. Okay. Okay, so uh, Mito, tell me what these two uh, paragraphs said. What did you understand about them? Um, well, um, they programmed something in the game, mm -hmm. um, like when you reach level ten or twenty. Yep. It's it's a very programmed thing. You will unlock um, donations. Mm -hmm. um, a, a, um, from Johnson and Johnson and another company called Pearson. And yep. never heard about it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, both of them um, already contributed two hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars to buy uh, a real operations from uh, the Fistula Foundation and uh, books from Rome to read. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you reach those levels, you will unlock uh, those donations. Yeah. Right. And they hope that when the game is um, is released. And people are, are are playing it. It gets so famous, and a lot of people play it. And um, other sponsors will be interested in 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 uh, in invest in um, investing their money in the game. Mm -hmm. And so more profits. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, yeah, not not more profits, but more donations. Actually, more donations. Yes, yeah. I mean, I mean, right. yes, yeah, 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 yeah. More donations. Yeah, and that's that's a good thing that you said it that way because. This is different because usually most games are based on profit, so it's just a company created a game, they made a bunch of levels, and then you can buy gold and things like that to help you get the levels or buy special um, forces or uh, you know special magic that you can do in a game or something. But in this game, the when you reach a level, you're actually unlocking real money that's been donated by these companies and will be given to uh, various organizations. So, yeah, I don't know how, they're not trying to make money, they're trying to get donations um, from these corporations to support the game. So the game uh, producers themselves 
I don't think uh, are making money. They're just making money by the donations that they're getting and then also giving. Okay, so Asi Barak, also co-president of Games for Change, said the hope is to draw 2 million to 5 million players, persuading 5% or more to donate. Players can play at no charge, but they will make faster progress through donations. Those usage figures would put the game in the top rungs of social cause gaming. Okay, Mentor, you want to read? Yes, sure. Okay. Asi Burak, also co-president of Games for Change, said the hope is to draw 2 million to 5 million players, persuading 5% or more to donate. Players can play at no charge, but they will make faster progress through donations. They use those those usage figures. How do you pronounce this word? Figures, yeah. Those figures. usage figures. Mm -hmm. Yes, those usage figures will put the game in the top ranks of social chaos gaming. Yeah. Okay, so they want to try to get two million to five million players. Yeah, players, yeah. Yeah. Persuading five percent or more to the net, yeah. Yes? Right. Yeah. Exactly. If they could get five percent of five million people to play uh, to donate, that way they're thinking they would make a lot more um, money for these organizations for these social causes. And if they yeah. did, that they would. Play. Yeah. Go ahead. If they did, then they they will play without without any charge, and also will get you know faster progress through the donations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can play the game uh, free of charge. So that means for free, no charge. Yeah. But if you're playing the game and you want to reach um, higher levels faster, if you donate money, you'll make you'll go um, you'll beat the levels faster. Yeah. And then they're saying that if this, if they actually got made their goal, if they make their goal, um, they will be one of the top uh, social cause games. So there are other social cause games, but they're saying if they did this, then they would be one of the top ones. So on the top rungs, a rung is the steps on a ladder, and in English we have the saying: if you're on the top rung, then you're you're like the best. You're on yeah. the you're on the top of the ladder. Okay, so the genre is still new enough that I think it's an open question as to whether or not and to what degree people want to play a game that's focused on a social issue," said Ken Weber, executive director of Zynga.org, the nonprofit or arm of Zynga, the company behind Facebook's Farmville game. Zynga, which has raised 15 million dollars for about 50 causes like Japanese earthquake relief through Farmville signed on to support the Half the Sky game, helping in its development and promotion. Okay. May I ask you something? Uh-huh. Uh, those usage figures, this word figures. Figures, yes. Yeah. It, it's, it's only one way to pronounce or it can pronounce in another way because I, I'm a little bit confused in myself maybe. Feature. Father okay. feature, father figure or father figure. Yeah, it's figure or figures. So figure is the singular. So if you say a father figure, you could say that. So father you could figure. say he acted mm. like a father figure to the boy. Mm. But if you're saying it in plural, so you add the S, figures. Am I wrong or I, I have heard before as a feature, father figure? Yeah, feature is a different word. And it means something different. different. Feature. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's what when when you say that word, that's what the word I'm hearing. Feature. Uh -huh. So a feature is kind of like an aspect or a characteristic of something. A feature. Okay. Also, you can say a feature. Okay. The feature film is the main film. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm okay. sorry. Thank yeah, you. no problem. So, does anybody else have any questions on what we just read? If you don't understand anything, you want to know what a word means, um, just ask me. I've been typing some of the things as uh, people are reading. I'm trying to figure out what, what some people might not know. 
So I'm writing definitions and things in the Verblink chat so you can follow along with that too. Okay, Sai, do you want to read? Yes, I'm okay. ready to read. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the gender is still new enough that I think it it's an open question as to whether or not and to what degree people want to play a game that focuses on social issues, said Kim Webb. Weber, executive director of uh, mm -hmm. uh, Zinga.org. Yeah, Zinga.org, Zinga. yeah. Zinga.org. Uh, the non profit arm of Zinga, the, the company behind Facebook frame will game. Mm -hmm. Zinga, which Farm has raised. Okay. Uh, Zinga, okay. Zinga, which has raised $15 million for about 50 causes like Japanese earthquake relief through Cranville, signed on to support the Half the Sky game, helping in its developing and promoting. Promotion. Promotion. Okay. Promotion. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, so this is a genre. So that means um, a, a, a new uh, style of game. Okay. And it's uh, and they don't know, so they don't know if it's going to work or not. They don't really know if people want to play this kind of game or not. But they do know that uh, Farmville, for example, has anybody played Farmville on Facebook? No, no, <laughs> no. I, I have never played it either, but, uh, but uh, it's pretty, it's pretty popular. You did? Did you like it? Yeah, Farmville <laughs> one and two. Okay, <laughs> good. So. Um, so they're saying that um, the nonprofit arm, which is just the nonprofit part of this company, Zynga, which makes lots of uh, video games, social media video games, they've already raised $15 million for 50 causes, so diff 50, diff 50 different things that people are uh, wanting to help get better, like the Japanese earthquake relief. And they have signed on, so that means they agreed to support uh, the Half the Sky game. They're going to. Ha they have been helping develop it. So that means to make it and to promote it. So that means to get the word out about it to help other people know that it's there. Okay. So they don't. They don't know if it's going to work or not, but they're trying. That's basically what they're saying there. So Zynga felt the game had a fighting chance. Mr. Weber said because the content was so uh, was compelling. There was already an established book and a television property. Financing was in hand. Producers have raised $1 million. And Games for Change had hired a commercial grade developer, the Canadian company Frima Studio of Quebec City. Other supporters include the Ford Rockefeller and United Nations Foundations, Intel, and the National Endowment for the Arts. Okay, Sonia, you want to read? Yes, of course. Okay, go for it. They felt the game had a fighting chance, Mr. Weber said, because the canton was complaining. There was already an established book and television property. Financing was in hand. Producers have raised one dollar one million dollar and games for change has has hired a commercial grade developer, the Canadian company Frima Studio of Quebec City. Other supporters include the Ford, Rock, Rockefeller, and United Nations Foundations, Intel, and the Nation Endowment for the Arts. Yeah, National Endowment for the Arts. That's a organization that uh, supports the arts, like music and dance and things like that. Okay, so I put it in the chat. Does everybody understand what it means to have a fighting chance? What is it? What are they trying to tell us that it has a fighting chance? Sonia, did you understand that when you read it? It's, it's very strong. The idea is very strong enough to uh, to get the chance to be uh, to, to reach the goal or something like that. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. So the idea of this game is uh, strong enough to have a fighting chance to be successful. So it it's not um, it's not something that's um, weak 
or something that's not very interesting or badly badly developed. It's something that is really interesting. So the content, it says, was compelling. So that means um, interesting. Some compelling means um, interesting. So it might be that the storyline of the video game is so interesting that people will try it out and they'll play it and maybe they will um, even donate real money which is what they really want people to do is to not just learn about the issues but to help these organizations so that maybe they can make a difference in these um, particular issues for these people. Okay. So the reason why it had a fighting chance, they said, is because it already was part um, based on a book and a television uh, show, a documentary, and they already had raised uh, $1 million. So that was the financing. So financing is how, are, how you are uh, going to pay for something. So they raised money. That means they went out and asked people to give them money, and they got $1 million. And they even hired a, a, fa you know, a commercial grade. That just means like a... A business. It's going to be a real product. It's not going to be some cheap looking um, product that's lame. They want it to be nice. So like Farm Bill is a professional product. It'll look nice. And then they got these other supporters that are big uh, corporations like Ford Company and Intel and also some of these nonprofit um, philanthropic organizations. Philanthropic means they give money away. So like the Rel Rockefeller Foundation gives away money to things that they want to support. Okay? I have a question. Yes, please. Yes. The last uh, the last paragraph. Yep. Uh, they separate into uh, in a way that is very weird. Why did uh, why didn't they use uh, the regular comma? The oh, only said and uh, yeah. No, yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, um they I don't know why they did that. They don't really need to do that. I just copied it from there, but I didn't read it. <laughs> you can use the semicolon when you're making lists of things. So, um, so maybe they did that, but they don't necessarily need to do that. But so that's a good point. Other supporters include the Ford, Rockefeller, and United Nations Foundation. So that was they used that there because that's kind of like one type type of uh, organization: the Ford, Rockefeller, and United Nations Foundations. So um, the Ford, they're talking about foundations, and so that's the Ford Foundation, not the company, actually, not the Ford, com um, but the foundation, which gives money, the Rockefeller Foundation and the United Nations Foundation. So that's, they're just trying to make it more like groupings, I guess. So that's one yeah. kind of a group, and then they put the semicolon there because that's another different type of group. That's a business, and then this is the last type of group, which is a different type of, this is more... Um, uh, this is a government-run one, the National Endowment for the Arts. So these ones are private foundations. This is a corporation, and then these. This one is a a government-sponsored um, uh, foundation. So that's probably why they did it there, is just to make it more of a different grouping. All yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. Good. That was a good uh, detail there. Okay. So let's read a little bit more here. The Half the Sky game starts out simply as Radhika ponders how to afford a doctor visit for her sick daughter. The answer is to harvest mangoes, which players do for her. Each step requires players to answer a question. For example, should Radhika ask her husband for help or stay silent? Neither answer is wrong, but each takes players on a different route. Okay, uh, Darazi, are you there? You want to read? <laughs> Hi, Darazi, you just joined us. Have you been, are you ready to read? Or Victor? Or is it Victor? Victor, did you want to read? Oops. Okay, Victor. All right, I don't know. Your mic's not working, Darazi. I'm going to go with okay. Ahmad. The Half the Sky game starts. Oh, okay, good. Go ahead. Okay, the half the sky game starts out simply as Radhika ponders how to afford a doctor visit for her sick dogger. The answer is to harvest mangoes, which players do for her. Each step requires players to answer a question. For example, should Radhika ask her husband for help or stay silent? 
neither answer is wrong, but each takes players on a different road. Yeah. Okay, good. So they're just telling you now a little bit for the game. So you're going to be Radhika, and you're going to have to help her figure out what to do. And each time you make a decision, something else is going to happen. So if you, for example, here, um, should Radhika ask her husband for help? That's one choice that she could make. Or stay silent. That would be another choice. And that's you making it because you're playing the game. And so neither of those answers is wrong, but they'll take you in a different route. So a different way. A route is a different uh, way that things are going to happen. Okay? Does everybody understand those two paragraphs? What's going to happen yeah. in the yes. game? Okay. Okay, so as her empowerment in grows, so as she gets more powerful, uh, Radhika moves across the globe to Kenya, Vietnam, and Afghanistan. But many of the game choices get progressively darker. One leads to a mother living and her baby dying. Okay, uh, Daraz Darazi, are you ready to read now? Okay, Imad, how about you go? Yeah, okay. Yeah. As her empowerment, uh, empowerment grows, Radhika moves across the globe to Kenya, Vietnam, and Afghanistan. But many of the game choices get progressively dark. One leads to, uh, to a mother living, uh, to mother living and her baby dying. Okay. Uh, should I complete or no? Yeah, let's stop there. So, so sh as she gets more and more empowered, so that means she becomes more powerful, making different decisions. Um, things happen, and she travels around the world. But, um, what does it mean to get progressively darker? So it's uh, it's become by the uh, by the time uh, darker and darker. So yeah. worse and. From from worse to worse. Yeah. Uh, situation. Yeah. So when we talk about dark, it's not talking about the nighttime sky or anything. It's talking about the situations and what might happen. So they're not necessarily getting better for her. They might get worse. So for example, one might lead to the mother living and her baby dying. So that would be a sad. Like it's getting more and more sad or hard or difficult. Yeah. So it says, uh, the next one is still, some of the game's non-profit partners have pushed for even more verisimilitude. So that's, a, that's not a very common word, but it means real. So I put it right there. Ms. Bird and Mr. Barack said, questioning for one, why Radhika can read when many women in her situation would be illiterate. Okay, so you want to read, Ines? Yes, of okay. course. Do some... Of the game's non-profit partners have pushed, have pushed, mm -hmm. pushed for, have pushed for even more very similitude, really similitude. Mm -hmm. Are we the really real? Yeah, verisimilitude real. <laughs> means real. I just put real in there because that's what that word means. <laughs> okay, more they want more real life. Yeah, very sim very similitude. Yep. Mr. Byrne and Miss Byrne and Mr. Borak said, questioning for one, why Radhika can read when many women in her situation will be illiterate? Yep. Okay. So yeah. So some of the people, the partners, wanted to be real, like more like real life. And, and one example of it being more like real life would be that Radhika is illiterate, which means uh, someone who can't read. So if you can't read, that means you're illiterate. So they're saying that somebody in her situation would not know how to read. And so the game should be more like real life. Finding that balance, how much to simplify complicated issues, how much fun to include, to focus on positive solutions versus grave challenges has consumed much of the development process, the producers said. Okay, Esther or Ismail? Yes, Lisa. Read that paragraph there. Okay. Finding that balance, 
How much to simplify complicated issues? How much fun to include? And how much to focus on positive solution versus grave challenges? Has consumed much of the development process, the producers say. Yep. Okay, so did you understand what they were talking about there? What kinds of things did they have to figure out? What are they trying to, to do? Find a balance. What does it mean to simplify complicated issues? To make it more simple. Yeah, to make something more easily understandable. It's not so hard, not so complicated. Uh, so make it easier. They want to include some fun, so they have to decide how much fun should it be versus how much, uh, you know, how hard should it be and real, real challenging in real life challenges, not just fun, you know, not just throwing grapes over here or you know something like silly like that. Okay, so that's what took up a lot of their time. So to consume, consume means to like take up their time. That consumed them. Okay, it'll be very. A very interesting test as to what people's thresholds are, said Mr. Weber of Zynga. Players who reach the final level learn about sex trafficking in the United States and can donate to an organization in New York called GEMS, or Girls Educational and Mentoring Services, which helps young women leave the commercial sex industry. Okay, Amido. Okay. It will be very interesting test as to what people's threshold are, said Mr. Weber of Zenga. Players who reach the final level learn about sex trafficking in the United States and can donate to an organization in New York called GEMS, or Girls Educational and Monitoring Services, which helps young women leave the commercial sex industry. Mm -hmm. Good. So I just put here the thresholds. That's like what your limit is. So they don't really know how much people want to play a video game about learning these, about these kinds of things such as sex trafficking in the United States. Whoa! Uh, Darizi, I was muting you because your microphone is pretty noisy. Alright, the last one says Rachel Lloyd, the organization's founder, so the person who um, founded or started the organization, said that games were a brave new world for us too. We're watching and seeing how this works. If people really do engage in the way that we'd like them to. Okay, uh, Sonia, you want to read that last paragraph there? Okay. okay. Rachel Lord, the organization founder, said that games were a brave new world for us too. We're watching and seeing how this works. If people really do engage in the way that we, we would like them to. Okay. All right. So basically, that last paragraph says we don't know. It's a new world. It's a new um, something new that hasn't really been happening or been made too much. These social cause games, and they don't know what to expect. So they're just going to try it and see what happens. So we only have a couple minutes here left. I'm just going to ask you guys, what do you think? Do you think people are going to want to play a game like this? And will, will they donate? Or do you think it's kind of uh, not going to really work? Anybody have any opinions? Yes, I think that no, not n no one's going to play a game like that. Not just mm -hmm. because they don't like to 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 be in social um, stuff, but mm -hmm. because it's all about um, something that maybe not everybody is interested in. Mm -hmm. Like um, maybe someone will ask, okay, how do we know that the money we donate is really going to uh, the organizations they are assuming mm -hmm. that is going to to go to? Mm -hmm. um, some this someone is me. Okay, so. Uh, I don't really know, but I don't think people are going to play this game. Mm -hmm. um, that's it. I, okay. I have an opinion. Yeah, Imad? What, what's yeah. your opinion? I think it's uh, it has very good uh, fighting chance, as, as, as they say, and mm -hmm. it will be very challenging to make uh, it uh, kind of attracting for the people. But I think it has very uh, good chance to get money for foundations because, for example, if the Farm Villa have uh, attracted people to play, uh, and I, I think about 5 million people playing this game right now, mm 
Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Uh, and also uh, buying uh, some purchasing uh, opportunities and purchasing gold. I don't know how they pay money to play mm -hmm. this game. And we have also another game named Travian. It's also very popular and people pay money for it. So yeah. the, actually the player play mo uh, pay money to get some, uh, let's say, uh, some advantages or features. Mm -hmm. uh, but he actually gets uh, the money is going to uh, something pro uh, useful. Yes. So yeah, uh, yeah maybe 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 non-profit uh, uh, way is very uh, is very successful. It's, it's yeah. Instead of taking money for yeah. Who knows? Right. So um, I'm gonna have to end the class, but I just want to say like. Uh, Thanks for reading along, guys. You guys did a good job. This was a pretty high-level um, article, actually. Lots of uh, uh, phrasal verbs and some high vocabulary, so you can congratulate yourself. If you didn't understand all of it, I posted the link right there to the New York Times article if you want to go check it out, and there's some pictures and things like that there you can see as well. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. If you're on Facebook and you... Uh, want to try it out. I guess it comes out next month and you can just see. But I, I think I agree with Ahmad. People play video games every day and they actually pay real money to buy little things in the game that just helps them to level up or to get more things in the game. And this is the same concept of getting more things or leveling up. But the money that you pay actually goes to do something that might help somebody. So um, it's kind of interesting. We'll see. Who knows? <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank you, Lisa. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.